I just got done writing this long post on the forums of a performance analysis I just did when I spent the last few hours debugging a new issue that seems to be Mac specific, although maybe it just happens on Windows 2 and I just haven't gotten anyone to reproduce it yet. But I can reproduce it on my Mac 100% of the time. So that's the test case I'm going to be using here today and do a video analysis of the issue with World of Warcraft using Apple's very good built in performance analysis tools. You have all the frame time graphs and everything here, and you can see right here the game's at 60 FPS. I'm going to turn the Blizzard display on too if you want to look, use it, look at theirs instead. I'm using a FPS cap for the first tests to create a stable baseline to show the issue very thoroughly. So right now, 60 FPS. I'm indoors because I want the FPS, I want it to be consistent. I don't want players causing frame drops or anything like that. A consistent, stable environment. I'm indoors for a reason. Now watch this. I just dropped to the low 20s. I'm at 22 FPS. You want to know what I did? I pushed spacebar. Watch me release spacebar. Back at 60 FPS. Mouse wheel. My four key, shield slam. Thunderclap. Let go. You can see there's a very clear problem here. Any input that's not left or right mouse button or a modifier key like shift, control, or option, alt on Windows causes an FPS drop. But here's the kicker. Not right away. There's some kind of leak that's happening or performance issue that happens over time. This file has been running for probably about six or seven hours now. If I restart the file right now, I'd have no lag or FPS drops from pushing keys. But I noticed a few caveats. And here's the kicker. I want to hold the space bar now. Now I want to push the one key while holding the space bar. I'm still holding spacebar, but there's no longer a performance issue from spacebar. That's because only one key can cause a performance issue at a time. The second you push a second key, any previous key's performance issue disappears. I'm still holding the spacebar. Now I'm going to hold the two key. Performance just tanked. I'm going to continue holding the two key. I'm going to push the three key. Then I'm going to release the three key. Now I'm holding spacebar and the two key and have no performance issues. So the performance issue only persists on key down of the latest input only. Now I'm going to run, do laps around this place using auto run, not pushing any keys, just holding the right mouse button. And as I said, the mouse buttons have no effect on performance. Just walking back and forth. No issues become auto running, not using keys. You can see it's locked at 60. Now I'm going to do the same thing again, but I'm going to use the keyboard to run instead. You're going to notice that the performance doesn't look as bad, right? That goes back to the issue I discussed before, to where only one key can trigger an issue at a time, and as long as the key stays pressed, there's no issues. Since I never once let go of the forward key, the forward key no longer causes performance issues because I've already pressed the, the left and right strafe keys. So then I only get performance issues when I turn. When I'm walking in a straight line, it's 60. And then I only get brief performance issues just when I turn, and then they go away. That's why it's hard to diagnose the issue through actual gameplay. Like you can see, I'm not getting into the low 20s, even though I'm triggering the bug except when I'm turning the keyboard. So it makes the issue appear to be turn stutter. That's why I, di I falsely diagnosed it as turn stutter at first, because initially I was only reproducing the issue, you know, when I was turning, you know, rotating the camera and the FPS went to the toilet. Then I let go of rotation and it moves back to 60. You know, 60 FPS, I'm running in a straight line. But again, I'll let go of the forward key. I'll press it again. 
Now I'm running in a straight line, holding the forward key, and, and uh, FPS drops to low 20s. Until I push left or right. Then the issue has been cleared on the forward key. But basically, for normal gameplay, this issue is hard to diagnose at first. I actually spent a couple days in delves trying to figure out what was going on, and for the longest time I thought it was just an issue, maybe with shader compilation, you know, because it was happening when I was going into new areas of turning the camera. But thanks to these tools and further debugging, I diagnosed that it was in fact an on key down issue. Why I don't know. Now I'm gonna uncap FPS just to show you that I'm actually being generous. I'm not GPU or CPU bound CPU bound in here yet because I'm still capped at 60. Now I'm GPU bound. Now I'm pushing limits to GPU on these settings. Which, by the way, I'm rendering the game at like 4K Ultra settings, except for a couple settings. And now you can see how drastic the FPS drop really is, because now I'm really going from like 110 to the low 20s. So what causes the issue? I don't really rightly know, but I have two theories. One, it's just based on how long the app is open, period. The longer the app is open, the worse it gets. My second theory, which is one that I think is more likely, is actually based on the number of inputs. Because I had, yesterday I didn't raid, but I did log in and do questing. But the thing is, I was probably online doing the questing for maybe three or four hours, and the performance issues were only about 10 FPS drops when I was pushing keys. But oh, two hours of raid, and I was dropping like 20 to 30 FPS already. Which makes me think, it's not about how long the game's been open, it's about how many inputs that have been pressed while the game is open. In other words, every time I push a key on this keyboard, I'm one step closer to bad performance. So it's basically like zero keys pressed, zero performance issue. One key pressed, 0.00001% performance issue. But like thousands of key presses later, massive performance issues. That's what I think is happening. Now here's the kicker. This issue only started in the last seven days. So I can't blame patch 11.2 for this because 11.2 has been out longer than that. So what happened? Was it a, one of the hotfix binary patches I do like each week? Is this a regression from some other fix they just made? Or is the issue not actually on Blizzard's end at all, but on Apple's? Because Apple has had software updates recently. In fact, I'm on the release build of a Mac OS 26. They call it Release Candidate 1, but it's basically the release build. Like, they, it'll be the same build they ship out to customers on the 15th. So it's not, a, it's not like a beta product. It's pretty much final. That could be the problem, too. But then I talked to another Mac user, and they're having issues, too, and they are not on Mac OS 26. They're still on Mac OS 15. So I can't exclusively blame this OS version of the OS either, because the previous one's also doing it. But they're also on a Mac. So that makes it even more interesting, and why I need more comments from you guys, and why I made that post in the forums. I need more sample sizes. I need to know if there's a single Windows user issue or user out there having this issue. If you're having stutters, or having issues, and can you do the, the key holding test to see if it gets worse? Because if you're just trying to play the game normally, you can see my FPS still in the 50s and 40s. This is just this is just playing the game like I normally would. You don't really nose dive it unless you actually do this. And just hold the key down and don't let go of the key. This is the test I need from you people on watching my videos having performance issues. I want you to do the key test. And I'm gonna say this again. This issue is not gonna happen on a freshly launched app. If you have if you have performance issues and you just fire up the game and the performance issues are bad on launch, it's not this issue. Trust me. This issue takes time to build up. But if you're like me and you're getting performance issues the longer the game's open, please do these tests and get back to me in the comments or even on the forums because I want to know who this is affecting. Is it just Mac users? Is it just specific Mac users? Are there any Windows users involved? Is it specific Windows users? Is it a specific graphics setting? I don't know. 
I have done some tests for graphics settings where I actually turn the graphics to one. In fact, I'll do it now just to show you that there is no fixing this issue when it's happening. I'm at graphics 10 right now. Let's go to graphics one. I mean, we're talking like Nintendo 64 graphics level. Okay. Doesn't matter. The frame right up drop is ju just as bad. Oh, I, ga I gained three FPS at the lowest end doing a graphics setting of one. It's not graphic settings. I'll even do this. I'll make the game so blurry. It looks like I'm not wearing glasses and I have bad eyesight. Look at this dwarf over here. He's so fuzzy. Hold space bar. Doesn't matter. I can assure you, my CPU and GPU are not struggling to render this game right now. This bug is the, uh, causing the issue. Because these graphics are not demanding. I'm going to restart, restart the game to clear the issue out now. Back in the game. And the issue should be totally clear now. Because I restarted. And of course, I got to turn the graphics things back up, right? Because right now it's at like Atari graphics level right now. Graphics. A render scale first. I use 75. I run 10. But I turn compute off because it's just a waste of CPU. I turn liquid to good because it runs like ass on Apple Silicon. And I turn spell density to essential because I like seeing what's going on in RAID. I'm set 120 FPS, by the way. I'm going to hold spacebar. So 120 FPS. No frame issues right now. Key inputs. Butterly butter yeah, butterly smooth. <laughs> and how long it takes to go ba bad again? Well, that's just hard to say. But I have no way to rapidly reproduce the issue. None whatsoever. I just have to play the game like you normally play it, and over time it would go, it would uh, start going down. And I, my, in my testing, reloading UI doesn't clear it. Not even GX restart does it. Let's see, console enable, GX re restart is a command you could use to restart the graphics engine while in game. It doesn't clear the issue either. The only thing that clears the issue is fully exiting and reopening the game. Which makes me lean that it might actually be an Apple issue more than a Blizzard one, but it's one that Blizzard need and Apple need to sort out. Unless it's happening in Windows 2, then it could be a Blizzard issue, but it's still, it's a deep-rooted issue that seems to be at like at the driver level. And I really, I really think it's Mac specific. Thank you for watching this performance analysis video. And those of you having performance issues out there, keep documenting them and keep reporting them because there's probably a dozen different causes of them, not just this one. And it's very difficult for developers like Blizzard to fix them all, especially under crunch. So the only you could do is do the best analysis you can and report feedback as thorough and detailed as you can to try to get this game running good again, because right now it doesn't run very good. It runs pretty poorly, in fact, especially in raids. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.